Now let's build this part. Let's call it angle. angle. And click OK. This one, I'm going to build from the top down. So choose top, sketch, and N, P. <clears throat> So first thing I need is kind of a triangle shape, but I'm going to start with a rectangle, a line. I'm going to come down to about here, it looks like. That's not too much of a, maybe about here. I'm going to go to about there. Hit escape. <clears throat> Another line going across to here. And I'm going to come down here. Again, we're just not too worried about the dimensions. Just the shape of this. Escape. Now I'm going to trim. Trim, 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 trim. And now I want to get a little round over on this. I'm going to use Sketch fillet. I'm going to bring it in oh, maybe just about like that. And this other one will match then. Accept the sketch. Select. Right click. Extrude. And maybe just a little short of that. And accept it. Okay. Now I want to bring this piece up. I'm going to select this surface, right click, new sketch, hit in, I'm going to move it up, and now I'm going to start at this point here, back to this point, accept it, select, extrude, and I need to bring it up, it looks like maybe about, about like, yeah, like that. And again, I'm just showing you my way of building these. Um, there's many different ways. And I'm going to zoom in. I want this edge and this edge. And it looks like, oh, let's see. About like that. I'm going to bring in just a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. All right, that looks good. <clears throat> All right. Now I need a couple of holes in here. So right click, new sketch, in, flatten. I'm going to do a circle. I'm going to put that circle. Yeah, looks like it's pretty close. Maybe about in here. 0.759. <clears throat> That's fine. Again, not worried about dimensions, just how does it look. I'm going to use my drawing aid to come over to here. And pretty close. I could make a match. 0 0.759. <clears throat> there, looks good. Accept the sketch. That one, that one. Right click. Oh, where is my extrude? No problem. Just use the button. Sometimes it doesn't show up in there, I think, because it wants to um, <clears throat> do a little different function than what we want to do. That's okay. Looks good. I removed it. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. <clears throat> let's put in this counter bore, let's call, while we're on this. <clears throat> New sketch. Circle. We'll go to the center of this one, and I'm just going to come out a little bit here. Same thing here. Accept it. Looks good. I'm going to zoom in now. <coughs> Sometimes you have to zoom in to select those surfaces. But now I'm going to do the extrude. I'm going to remove material, but I'm not going to go that far back. Well, maybe it doesn't look like it's too far. 
felt like that. <clears throat> there we go. It's looking pretty good. Now let's put this hole in down here. <clears throat> Select this surface, right click, new sketch. It's all about sketches. Just creating new sketches on surfaces. Circle, I'm going to use my drawing aid. There's my little marching ants. I'm going to come up maybe to about, yeah, to about there. <clears throat> Accept it. Select, right click. There's our extrude. Remove. And it's already blasting through further than what we need, so that's okay. I could choose through all, but it's already doing that, so there we go. <clears throat> now, this is what stumps a lot of people is this thing here. It's actually really easy to do. Right-click, New Sketch, <clears throat> and I'm going to create a um, rectangle about like that. Might be a little bigger than I picture, but I think it's good enough. <clears throat> okay, accepted it. Right-click. I'm going to extrude it up. And go about to there. You know what, it's a little wide. I'm going to go back to the sketch. Remember, you can rewrite your story here of your part. Double click on there. I'm going to hit N. <clears throat> I'm just going to select this line and this line. Just kind of bring them in a little bit. There, now it updated. Now we just need to make this slant. <clears throat> That's easy. Select that surface, right click, new sketch. I'm going to go in, and I'm just going to go a line from here down to here. <clears throat> Accept it. What do you think I'm going to do? Yep, I'm going to extrude, but I'm going to remove material. Looks like it went all the way through, just like that. <clears throat> Now, let's round over and do our fillets. To do that, there's a couple different things you can do. <clears throat> you could select each line individually and then do the fillet or the round over. Or you can select the surface and when you hit the fillet command, it does everything that is <clears throat> that, um, well, in this case, it didn't do it. It's having a problem with that. But here, let me show you up here. So if I select this surface and I hit the fillet command, it does all of the surfaces that are adjoining that. So it's a nice shortcut. Again, all I did, I selected this surface, hit the fillet command, and it took care of all of that. <coughs> so these surfaces, I'm just going to select individually like I did before. Fill it. Looks good. Now, the fill it command also works on interior corners. So just use the same fill it command. It knows you're doing an interior. <coughs> and this one here, I'm going to see if this will work. I'm going to select that surface and do this. Look at that. It grabbed everything that was adjoining. And there is our part, our angle part. Looks good. <clears throat>